So uh, I'm just tipping play on this and letting a bit of it play out. So you can see we're getting a sort of some mushroomy cloud smoke coming off this um, with our fluffy settings. Um, but we're going to, obviously when I hit play it sims it, when I hit stop, stops, and when I rewind it, basically it's just gone. So we've got to cache this first, so we're going to set up how to cache. So I'm just going to hit tab and go file and we get file cache like that. And we're just going to connect that to from the aero volume to in objects and I'm just going to connect that over there and this should go red. And that's because the data flow of this has changed going through this cache. Um, so we said this, we saw that before, didn't we, where that happens. So just going to disconnect that, connect it to a new one, and that should be all fine. Delete, delete. I'm just going to delete these. Let's delete the other one. So it's probably going to be that one now. Um, so let's have a look at the file cache. Just click on that. Um, we've got a few settings um, to start off I would just probably leave most of this and not play around with any of this stuff um, you can export out Alembic and open VD, VDB stuff uh, but it's probably best when you just go and just keep to this this um, Bob format which is the uh, Bifrost new caching format uh, so we've got three modes, four modes actually. We've got lazy, read, write, and pass through. Um, lazy, if you hit uh, lazy mode, if you hit play, it will cache it. If you stop um, and then rewind, and you haven't changed anything here, it will let you play forward using that cache and it's like caching it from that point onwards. Um, is that right? Because I find it doesn't really work. I never really use it. Lazy mode switches between read and write modes depending on whether the frame exists on the disk. This mode can be used as a scrubbable, resumable cache. Um, so you can do that. Um, I don't really use it. Well, generally, what I do is I just do a write mode, I cache it, and then if I want to play it back, I change it to read. Um, for some reason, I'm not 100%. I can't remember why I wasn't. I stopped using that. It didn't really work. I think because as soon as you change the setting, it sort of becomes pointless. And half the time you're stopping a simulation because you don't like the look of it and you want to change the setting. So I just keep to the read and write modes. And pass through, just, just ignore it. So um, file name, where we want to put it. Properties, the asterisk means it's storing every bit of data. Um, but you can just store certain parts of it if you wanted to. So this is the sort of data that's coming out of it. You could just store voxel fog density. If you wrote voxel fog density there like that with the underscores, it would only write that out. But generally, we'll, we want to write out everything. So I'm just going to put that to write, and I'm just going to navigate to a folder. Uh, where are we? We're in teaching. So I'm just going to do cache. I'm going to make a new Bob file just to keep them all in there. Oops. Uh, Bob. Open that. Let me just uh, make a new folder for this one. I'm going to call this uh, class cache. Error. Um, you will, I think, let me just hit save on that, call that version 1, uh, save, yeah, you will have to make sure that you um, put in some hashtags for your frame padding, so you're basically oops, telling um, Bifrost that you want, this is going to be a sequence of numbers, with a depth of four numbers, so zero 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 one zero 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 one two, like that. Otherwise, it would just cache the same frame over the top of each other again and again. Let me just delete that. 
so let's go back here and play and just have that play through a bit I might pause it just so you're not watching the screen right I've done nearly 60 frames just gonna hit escape and I'll stop change this to right mode just double check it's been writing them out there we go Put them all out there. Do, 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 do. Um, not massively big, 73 meg, but they can, once you make the res higher, they can go up to be gigs in size, you know, 4 gig upwards, which can be obviously fill your hard drive up very quickly, so do be careful. Um, save the file, it's fine. Let's read. So, what happens when you set this to read is it ignores everything upstream from it. And just plays it from this cache, so it should play a bit quicker. There we go. And there we go. So I can just. And now I can just click through it back there. And it will just show the frames. Right, so that's caching working. Um, put that back to right. And rewind. Um, right, so next video we'll look at um, assigning a material.